Roxana says, I have a 22 carat of gold, 18 carat of gold with diamonds, 21 gold carat, silver jewelry with diamonds in it. When I ask the jewelers, they say 22, 18, and 21 uh, carat of gold cannot be converted into 24, as it is impossible to raise lower carat gold to 24. So I cannot exactly know the value of, uh, uh, the value to calculate uh, my zakat. I'm confused. How do I calculate my zakat on the jewelry I have? Your question is a little bit strange, Roxana, because you are not obliged to convert it into 24. You're asked to do your calculation so that you would know how much is the total amount of gold which you possess so that we could tell whether it is zakatable or not. So the zakat threshold is 85 grams of gold of 24 karat gold, which means that if you have 85 grams of 22 karat of gold, this is not zakatable. Why? Because it is definitely below 24 karat of gold. The two missing are usually copper. So the actual 24 karat gold in this amount would be probably 83.5 or 84 grams, maybe. So if you have a lot of gold, that is, let's assume 22 carat of gold, and it is 100 or 200 grams or more, definitely there is zakat in it. So how to calculate it? Take the jewels back again, the gold to the jeweler's shop, and tell him how much does this cost without the diamonds. He will tell you it costs 10,000 euros, for example. Then you give 2.5% of that as zakat. In another, in another word, you can um, divide it by 40 and the result is for zakat. And how to transfer the weight in 22 carat into the weight in 24 carat, there are lots of apps on the internet. You just act, uh, uh, write in Google search, for example, 100 grams of 22K gold equals how much in 24K gold? And it will give you the calculation. They can do this easily without needing to go to the jeweler shop if you wish. So there's no problem in that, inshallah.